old fighting games, people felt that there was a lot of emergent gameplay in them and they were really interesting because it took a while for people to learn them and all kinds of stuff. And the idea that I was presenting was like, hey, people learn new games so much faster than old games. So even if the old games were similarly dense to new games or like maybe they were a bit more or whatever they felt like they were way more complex because it took a long time to learn them and a lot of people they kind of bounce off that they're like i don't know man these old games were just the most complex at things ever i'm going to show you guys a clip right now third strike was out in the us and arcades if you guys didn't know in 99 i have a clip for you that is evo 2002 there was an exhibition set up between the usa and japan so third strike had been out for three years this is Justin Wong versus Tokido. So you want to talk about Justin Wong getting bullied? Well, boy, do I have a match for you. It starts, and you hear everybody getting hype about this. Justin's just building meter because at this point, what does he know about Third Strike? You're like, well, if Chun-Li gets meter, I'm going to win. This guy over here is just playing Urian. He's building meter. Like, who cares, right? I'm just going to build meter. In Justin's mind, he's like, dude, I'm set. Like, what is this guy doing over here building bar as Urian? Doesn't he know I'm Chun-Li? Like, I'm just going to hit low, medium kick and do super, and it's over. So they're just building meter, and Justin thinks, like, this is great. I'm I'm living my best life. The game's been out three years. I know how to play it. I got the strategy down. He stuffs a couple of tackles. The U.S. crowd's getting hype. It's funny because you hear how the crowd is. The first thing he does is mirror into overhead, which is, like, the most normal Urian mix-up ever. And it hits him. The knee drop. Yeah, Justin's just getting unblockable to death. He's just getting fucked up. And the entire crowd is like, what is happening? Like, this is, uh, you know, this is to them. They're like, what in the world is going on? They have never seen this. The game has been out for three years. And they're watching this Urian do all these, like, advanced setups with mirrors and stuff. And they're like, what? in the fuck is hat like this is wild imagine street fighter 5 being out for three years and no one had a, a mirror set up with urian this is like you're breaking new ground justin wong is no longer yeah, he's crowding him you see this he's like i can't let him get get uh what's it called i can't let him get space you know this is scary if he builds meter i might be in trouble right and so he's like all right i got to approach with chun and keep in mind too i'll talk about this after maybe a little bit uh-oh he goes low that time. Justin does not stand up. So Tokido's got to be like, this guy just doesn't know, huh? We have more matches to watch besides this one. Up mirror. You know, people are just... Yeah. They have... They, this is magic. Three years the game has been out, and they're seeing something that is like the newest, most absurd, cool tech they've ever seen in their life. Imagine being a US player, getting hit by all of these setups. They, yeah, they don't even know this is like an unblockable, right? Getting hit by all these setups, playing a first to one, and then being like, wait, how do I learn how to stop that? You can't training mode this. You can't lab this. You don't know anybody that does this. The guy at your arcade is not doing this. It's not even easy to get the footage of these things. Once it's over, if you're from the US, like to get this footage later on, you have to like, yeah, there's like an Evo VHS or like an Evo DVD or tape that's going to get set out later, like months and months later after the event that you can like, you have to purchase it, right? So when people talk about how fast games get solved these days, you know, to some aspect, of course, it's how they're built and they're more defined and stuff. But you have to really consider the difference in ability to share information and our understanding of the game. And like in a modern fighting game, I mean, I did a Yurian setup that looked just like this, like the day he came out. YouTube was not out. YouTube was 2006. I'm going to give you another example. Here is Mester Yun. A lot of people know Mester Yun versus Justin Wong. Okay, same event. The game has been out for three years and the Yun players in the US do not pick Ganajin. I want you to think about the sentence I just said. Third Strike has been out for three years and the US Yun players do not pick Ganajin. I, you, you might not believe me. Like, you say, like, well, that seems weird, right? But this match, this next match, right? This is Mester versus Watson, right? In the same exhibition. And Watson is not playing an agent. Three years into the game, they're not even picking the right super. Can I turn up the game quality to 1080p? Yeah, let me do that. If you don't know, Ganajin is the super that lets Yun link all of his moves into each other and, like, all of his special moves into each other. And he gets, like, you know, 50% combos off command grab or low or overhead or whatever it is. So he's building bar and, like... 
Watch what happens the first time he gets... He's doing... The fucked up thing is the combo he does, too. He's, like, doing Kara Palm, Ganagian combos. He activates on block. Command grab. Kara Palm. People are like, what in the... F like, what is going on here, right? They're like, why is this even... Ha like, what is he doing? Ganagian. Rapid low. You just rapid fire your plus a million low. What are you supposed to do? You've never actually seen this in your life. And you're just like, <laughs> okay, like, I guess this is all real. It turns out a different continent is doing everything completely different. And there's no way to study or practice it. Once this event's over, everybody's like, dude, they were using this other super art and they were doing all these wild combos. And it's like, how do you do the combos? Like, I don't know. He was doing palms and like whatever it was. It's so wild to consider the difference in knowledge and how information could travel. Three years into the game. Half the lifespan of competitive Street Fighter V. Like, imagine if nobody picked Aegis Reflector in Street Fighter V with Urien. You'd be like, wait, what? Isn't this mirror, like, really good? <laughs> to compare this to the same tournaments you watch now where everybody in the tournament is streaming their own perspective where you can just go ask them in the middle of the tournament, wow, you're using this super. Like, what is this? What's even happening? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm doing this, 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 and this. I have a, a video on my YouTube channel. You can go watch it there. But imagine that compared to like this, where if you're from the US, you've never seen this in your life and you will not see it again for another year or two or maybe never again. You might never see them again. And you have to try to remember what they did to you because, you know, the recording of it is not going to be out for a while because they have to make the Evo DVDs or VHS and if you want it, they might have to like rip the VHS and re-record it, the tape like nine times. And by the time it makes it to you, the tape is not even legible. You know, you're like, well, with what you can see here, just imagine how hard it was to find information about the game. If you didn't see someone in per person doing it, like it didn't exist. Imagine finding footage of non-Street Fighter. Yeah, you know, it's true. Deb was talking about this recently. She was like trying to find Exert footage or something. And like the Exert footage, is, it's like so much harder than finding strive footage for instance of like the things you want to do if it wasn't for shit like mikado or like a few certain uploaders uploading footage from stuff like that it was so hard to find super high level footage of stuff right it's like you really got to go digging compared to now and that game is not that old and now you could just tweet at nage pink on twitter hey how do you do this faust setup and he google translates you an answer or post a video with inputs and you're like thanks <laughs> Even Street Fighter 4, when you wanted to find Japanese footage sometimes, like trying to find arcade footage of like Daigo playing and Mago and like all these people, like, you know, you really got to dig through some nasty footage to find it. Meanwhile, now Daigo's on his stream, his hair's wet because he got out of the shower, he's got the towel and he's just in training mode, grinding it out, talking, playing games. His, all of his footage is recorded and then translated to English. Yeah, there's an input display on the stream so you can see all the inputs he's doing. It's just not the same. It's it's inc uncomparable. There is a lot of context here where I think people are like, nah, old game, good. Very deep. It takes years and years and years for people to refine them. In reality, there's a lot of reasons it took those many years. You are building on the backs of all of the information from years and years and years and years and years ago. And also, you have new ways to share this news and information. A great example is look at the NF Duel and think about how a game with no training mode that was only playable for two days, people have 80% BNBs and shit by the end of the weekend with Crusader. People would not have learned how to use that wall and do all that shit if it wasn't for the pace and speed at which people learn games these days, right? If you wanted to find footage of Daigo, it used to look like Sleep. that. Hold on, let's get in his face. This is the Daigo footage you used to get. And now you can watch him play every match he's ever played on stream. This is the only Daigo footage for years. Is him sleeping on a table. This is real. This is the Daigo after, I guess, being hung over or some shit and <laughs> sleeping on a fucking <laughs> table outside of Cal Poly. And now he's walking out. Look at Grabbing his, his ass. ass. <laughs> By the way, he still does that walk to this day. I've seen it. At a tournament, there was two or three front rows and people weren't sitting there because it was like Friday or Saturday. I remember seeing Daigo like look around. He took off his shoes, he put them down on the ground and he laid across like five chairs and he just passed out in the middle of the tournament. And I go into my commentary blog, that's like two hours. And I come back out and little yellow Chuck still on the floor, Daigo's just asleep. And then like somebody comes up and they like poke him and they're like, yo, you gotta play in tournament. And he puts his shoes back on and he, grabs a stick and he goes and 
plays in tournament, they're like, all right, hey man, 